In the current wave of excitement around AI video platforms, one key element tends to fade into the background, the source material. Unless you're using text to video, or video to video, you'll need at least one image to begin with. And in the case of start and end frame workflows, you'll need two. Which brings us to the focus of this tutorial. Today we'll take a closer look at three alternative image generators that are getting attention for all the right reasons. Hun Yuan Image 3.0, Reeve Image 1.0, and Microsoft MAI Image 1. When I say alternatives, I mean challenges. And a challenger only exists if there's something, or someone, to challenge. That naturally raises the question, who's wearing the crown? Within the community, there's plenty of room for debate. Naming a platform in this context isn't meant to dismiss others. Leonardo, for example, performed remarkably well in one of my recent comparison tests. But after generating nearly 30,000 images and over 2,500 videos, I can say this, mid-journey still goes that extra mile. Even when a prompt is vague, it finds ways to elevate the result through lighting, composition, atmosphere, or detail refinement. Is it perfect? Of course not. There are still issues with omni-reference logic, with rendering smaller faces, or with handling text inside the image. And when it comes to video, well, other platforms are clearly ahead. Just think of Veo 3.1 or Sora 2. I've made full tutorials on both, by the way. You'll find the links in the description. Here's what's coming. A detailed test run across all four platforms, a quick look at how you can use three of them yourself, and a closing note on what stood out, both technically and creatively. If you know my work, you'll know that this kind of comparison is driven by one thing, the wish to find the best tools currently available. Sometimes that's one platform, sometimes a mix. One focus in particular keeps coming up. How well a system handles visible text inside an image. It's a small detail with big impact. In this tutorial, I'll show you a range of examples, from very simple to intentionally complex, so you can see where each of the four platforms has strengths and where the results fall short. And just so it's clear, this isn't based on a single round of testing. What you're seeing here is part of a much larger set of structured comparisons. No need to worry, you won't be overloaded. I've selected 12 examples that reflect a balanced mix of tasks, concepts, lighting, landscapes, mock-ups, style, motion, reflections, 3D, illustration, and prompts that point into more obscure visual territory. When researching the current challenges, I came across descriptions from ChatGPT, Claude AI, Google Gemini, Perplexity, and of course the platforms themselves. Let's start with Hunyuan Image 3.0 by Tencent. According to several sources, it sets a new benchmark for text rendering and world knowledge reasoning. It's a text to image model that seems to actually think along with the prompt. Reeve Image 1.0 developed by Reeve AI Inc. offers both image to image with remix and edit options and text to image modes. It's frequently described as extremely precise in prompt following and unmatched when it comes to branding and typography. The third system is exactly what the name suggests. Microsoft MAI Image 1 released on October 13th, 2025. News articles call it a new standard in photorealism, with studio-level lighting effects, bounce light, reflections and all. It's pitched as ideal for product visualisation, architecture and landscape rendering. Let's see what all of that means in practice. Example 1 sets the tone with a wonderfully strange idea. A large plastic bag floats in the ocean. But it doesn't just drift, it has the clear contours of an animal, specifically a rhino. Of all the platforms, only Midjourney gets it right. Microsoft's version delivers exactly what its promo materials promise. Beautifully lit, technically impressive. Reeve delivers a valid result, but like Hunyuan, leans more into accidental humour than precision. In the second example, Midjourney raises the bar with the prompt, illuminated by light coming through a small window above the person, cinematic shot. 
This test focuses on light, shadow, atmosphere, and depth of field. Microsoft MAI Image 1 delivers a strong image of a pirate in a medieval setting and clearly outpaces both Reeve and Hunyuan. And mid-journey, there's nothing left to say. It looks like a frame from a high-end film. If we're already talking about compelling visuals, example 3 makes the case even clearer. Here you can see how much composition and the intentional placement of elements contribute to the feeling of a complete image. It's not just about fulfilling a prompt, it's about telling a story with subtle choices. All four images follow the instructions, but only one creates a sense of scale, drama, and setting. Absolutely convincing. One of Reeve's selling points is its reputation for professional branding and typography. Microsoft, on the other hand, positions itself as ideal for product visualization. So here's a test. If you look at the four images in this category, without knowing what's being advertised, which one actually grabs your attention? For me, it's always the one in the bottom right corner. Stand out by being different seems to apply here. In Hun Yuan's case, several test runs showed that the platform struggles with proportions in this scenario. You've probably noticed by now that ice and snow is one of my recurring themes. In example five, the prompt is fairly simple a futuristic yellow executive SUV concept driving across the frozen plains of Antarctica. What matters here is dynamic movement, a sense of weight, physics, wind and motion blur. Hun Yuan's version feels powerful. You can almost see the horsepower in the tyres and wheels. But the execution slips into something exaggerated. The golden gloss effect breaks realism and the perspective feels subtly off. Example 6 led to a red card moment for one platform. The prompt was, a scientist in a white protective suit and mask inspects a one million year old giant white shark mummy on a crystal white salt plain. Microsoft MAI Image 1 flagged and rejected the image. Mid Journey, by contrast, creates a scene where the creature really could be preserved in this vast salt desert. Every detail is locked in. Hun Yuan struggles to interpret what such an ancient creature might look like and defaults to what's in its training data. Reeve takes mummified quite literally and gives us a detective with a magnifying glass examining the fossil. Unexpected and genuinely funny. Depending on what you're looking for, example 7 could have several winners. The prompt reads, ship construction plan coloured, different views from several sides. That leaves plenty of room for interpretation, and the results reflect that. Mid-Journey leans into an artistic blueprint style, almost like something out of Dungeons and Dragons. Microsoft's output is extremely precise and technical. Hunyuan takes inspiration from classic model-building references, while Reeve pulls the viewer directly into the design environment. One of the biggest challenges for AI image generators is rendering reflections and mirrored surfaces correctly. You can almost feel the hesitation. None of the platforms except Midjourney seem willing to take risks here. Microsoft, Hun Yuan and Reeve stay safe, technically accurate, but visually cautious. Midjourney, on the other hand, uses extreme depth of field and stylized lighting to create something bold and cinematic. That's what makes an image feel believable and dramatic. Everyone knows Midjourney has one weak spot, text in image. No idea why that is, especially considering how much training data must be available. So it's no surprise that Midjourney falls behind in example 9. Hun Yuan claims to set new standards for text rendering in both English and Chinese. And here the results speak for themselves. Even body text is laid out cleanly and convincingly. Midjourney doesn't even manage the headlines. One of the great things about working with AI is trying ideas that would be nearly impossible otherwise. Example 10 is a perfect case. The prompt asks for a chaotic tower of abandoned rusty ocean liners and cruise ships stacked on top of each other. All four platforms technically follow the brief, but the differences are obvious. Some results feel like generic 3D assets piled together with no sense of mass or gravity. Hun Yuan again struggles with proportion. And mid-journey, it does what it does best, creating a setting that feels physically grounded, with atmosphere and a coherent camera angle. 
Example 11 shifts focus to illustration. The target style was inspired by the animated series Arcane, using keywords like neon lighting and cartoon style. The results vary, and each platform interprets the prompt in its own way. Without tighter specifications, it's less about accuracy and more about which aesthetic feels right for the viewer. And finally, we end on a fusion prompt. A full body shot of a white whale robot, pure white and light blue background. Reeve goes with something that looks more like a beluga toy. The other three platforms deliver strong results, especially Microsoft, whose version balances clean design, light and volume. Hunyuan once again opts for a glossy, over-polished look, just like in the SUV test. Midjourney's version still feels like a prototype, but one you'd want to explore further. As promised, here's a quick look at how to use the platforms yourself. Let's start with Hunyuan, Image 3.0. On the official Tencent Hunyuan website, you'll see five tiles. One of them is labelled Hunyuan Image 3.0. Clicking it brings up a Chinese language interface, which may block your access if you don't speak the language. So I looked for alternatives. One of them is FAL AI, though others exist. After logging in via GitHub or Google, for example, you'll land on the start page. Enter Hunyuan in the search bar and select version 3, currently marked New. You'll be redirected to the generation interface. Type your prompt in the top left field. Open the More tab to adjust image size and aspect ratio, and keep in mind, each megapixel costs 10 cents. You can also choose the number of outputs, which of course affects the total cost. Then click Run. Another option is LM Arena, where Hunyuan Image 3.0 is also available for free testing. Log in, then select Image in the bottom left corner to signal that you're only working with images. Use the drop down in the top left to switch to side by side. You can now compare two models. For example, Hunyuan Image 3.0 on the left and MAI Image 1 on the right. Enter your prompt and compare the outputs. Image resolution is usually square. Now on to Microsoft MAI Image 1. As you've already seen, it's also available through LM Arena. According to Claude AI, Right now, the primary way to use MAI Image 1 is through LM Arena, where Microsoft is conducting public testing. Microsoft has also announced plans to integrate the model into major products like Copilot and Bing Image Creator. But for now, LM Arena is the way to go, and it's currently free. Reeve Image 1.0 is also available in LM Arena, but only in the Image Edit section. That doesn't help us here. For image generation, you'll need a different route. Again, FAL AI works. On the home page, search for Reeve and select the text to image tile. In the interface, enter your prompt in the top left field. Below that, choose how many images to generate. Under more, you can adjust the aspect ratio, then click run. Each image currently costs four cents. The output resolution is relatively low so I'd recommend using an upscaler like Topaz Gigapixel. I'm skipping mid-journey here. I've covered it extensively in other tutorials, and a detailed guide would go far beyond the scope of this video. So here's my conclusion. For a long time, all eyes were on image quality. At some point, generating high-end visuals started to feel almost routine. But with tools like Nano Banana and Seadream Edit, we now have ways to fine-tune every nuance after generation. That's powerful. Still, if you start with a strong base image, you can often skip hours of post-work. That's why it's worth looking at these new image models in more detail. After reviewing the results, I'd say this. The bold claims made at the beginning of this tutorial were only partially confirmed. Hunyuan Image 3.0 clearly delivers the best performance when it comes to embedded text. Microsoft MAI Image 1 stands out with its cinematic lighting and handles landscapes beautifully. Reeve Image 1.0 has potential, but it's not yet at the level of the other two. Are any of them better than Mid Journey? Yes and no. My approach remains the same. 
use different tools for different tasks. Midjourney gives me strong, often surprisingly rich base material. Nano Banana turns that into a final image, changing perspectives, adding new elements, or building entire new scenes around it. And when text inside the image matters, I have to say, Hunyuan Image 3.0 earns its spot in my toolkit. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.